up here. How many people got 176 for the first column? I only added it once, so I want to double check. Who's added it? No? I got 221. 221? I thought it looked pretty low because I remember looking at the answer and thinking she wasn't that low of a percent. Did you get 250 for the second yeah. column? Okay. There's two ways to find out what her percent of her grade is. And I want you guys to follow along with me as we do both ways. One is division. We could set this up as a division problem. 221 over 250. Go ahead and divide that with your calculator. Hmm? I got 0.884. How many people got that? Okay, I want you to write that down. And then if we're going to convert it to a percent, what's the magic number that a percent is out of? So we need to multiply this by 100, which when you do that in your calculator, it changes it to 88.4. Without a calculator, you could just move the decimal book two places over and we would get 88.4. It's like a B plus. If she's playing basketball and she's got to have a C or better, she's doing okay, right? Here's the other way, and I'm going to keep pushing on this because it's useful beyond percents. We could set this up as cross multiplication. 221 over 250 is equal to something over, what's my magic number down here? Percents are always out of? 100. When I set this up as a proportion, which is one ratio is equal to another ratio, the first is always whatever we're calculating, and I always set up the second as my percent ratio. What do we not know? Well, we know because we just calculated it. We don't know what her grade is. If I cross multiply 221 times 100 and divide by this, it's going to give me the same number. I want you guys to practice that. 221 times 100 divided by 250. I want to see everybody calculating. Both are about this equal amount of work. It just depends on how you want to set them up. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page to the reinforce. And we don't have too much time left today. So I want us to start with this down here. We're going to skip down to number six. If this is my decimal, I need to multiply this decimal by 100 to get to the percent. Or move that decimal two places to the right. And the best way to do it if you're like, I'm not positive which way I'm supposed to move the decimal. Put this in your calculator and multiply it times 100. And what are you guys getting? 100. Mm -hmm. Can we have half of a percent? Yes. What would our ratio be then? You know what, we're going to come back to that because I just looked at the clock and I don't want us to rush. Is 5 over 10 half of a percent? Keep thinking on that. I don't want us to rush through it, but let's go ahead and get packed up.